Hi, y'all. Um. <clears throat> yes, I look like a mess. <laughs> and, um, I'm really tired. But, um, there's some stuff I just wanted to upload real quick, so I'm just going to do a webcam capture here and just share a little bit. Um, I'm in, I've completed two days of the week five in the Couch to 5K program. And I actually repeat, repeated uh, week five, day one. I did that twice. Um, the first time I did it, I hadn't looked at the program all the way, and I thought I was doing the exact same run that I had been doing in week four, which week four was all the first run you ran three minutes, the second run, and then you walked, and then the second run you walked or ran five minutes, and then you did another three-minute run after walking, walked again, and then ran five minutes, and then cooled down. So I had thought that week five, day one, was the same run that I had been running in week four, but I hadn't stopped to read all the details, and it was actually three five-minute runs with walking intervals. And I just wasn't prepared for that first run uh, being three minutes mentally. I think, and so I actually stopped and walked. It was a really hot day, and I had chosen a course that had a lot of hills, and so it it really <laughs> it took a lot out of me, and I didn't really feel like I did a good job, um, so I had decided to repeat that run just because I wanted to get better results, and I also didn't want to move forward until I knew that um, I was doing well at that level right there, because uh, week five, day two, are eight-minute intervals. <laughs> and if I couldn't even do the five-minute intervals, I had serious doubts about doing the eight-minute intervals. Um, so week five, day one, is three five-minute intervals, and I did that day twice. And then um, I just finished yesterday, uh, week five, day two, the eight-minute in eight minute intervals, which is two eight minute intervals walking in between and I did it. I didn't stop and walk. Um, yeah, it, I am really sore today and like I have a lot of stiffness in my neck and shoulders and I'm really tired and I don't know if it has anything to do with my run yesterday or what. Um, but yeah, I'm tired and sore and hungry. I'm so hungry today. I'm just snacking on everything. <laughs> and I've been, I feel like I've been doing a fairly good job. I, I need to um, do a separate video on what I'm doing as far as recovery and stuff like that because I've started, um, you know, I've decided to try Mel Luca's uh, exercise program nutrients. I guess, I don't know what you call it, and, uh, so I've been doing that, and it's helped a lot, but, yeah, apparently it was a lot yesterday, or just something else, um, maybe I'm fighting something, I, I'm just tired, I'm hungry, and I hurt, and it's mainly in my back, like my back muscles, my legs are a little bit sore, but not bad, it's, it's my shoulder area, and so then I had this headache, here, and so I don't know, like, am I just carrying myself too tight sometimes when I'm running, or what, um, yeah, another thing, um, I did this run by myself because sometimes I feel like it's really important to talk to yourself, and I really wanted to talk to myself, I wanted to, um, be able to hear myself saying, you can do this, and hear myself saying, keep on going, because, you know, someone else can do that for you all they want, but until you own it yourself, <laughs> you're not really going to be able to succeed in life or in whatever you're setting out to accomplishing. So I really needed to be able to speak to myself and get to the point of um, owning some things for myself. So I did this run by myself instead of going with my running partner, um, just because I wanted to face the challenge and 
you know, yeah, I speak to myself. I'm sorry, you know what? I realized I'm just looking at the screen instead of looking at the camera. <laughs> oh well. I like looking at myself, what can I say? <laughs> um I watched the Shay Carl uh video where he ran the marathon, the LA marathon yesterday. And one thing in that video he had some clips back when he was beginning his journey and still weighed a lot and couldn't run very far at all. And one thing he said is, you know those clichés? They're true. They're clichés for a reason. And I would say I agree with him. Like, the clichés are real. The reason why sometimes people don't say don't say clichés to other people because it's just a cliché um, really is because I feel like it's it doesn't come well coming from someone else. It has to come from yourself. Just like I needed to own uh, and speak to myself uh, the things, like keep on going, you can do this. I had to own that for myself. And sometimes those cliches, you really need to speak to yourself because you have to own them. It can't come from anybody else because no one else can... No one else can do it for you, you know, as as much as people love you and want to help you and as much as I love, and my computer dies, yeah, oh well, no it didn't die, sorry, <laughs> my screen went black, I thought it had died, yeah, I guess it's just a challenge that I'm challenging myself with and maybe challenging everyone else out there with. Uh, start owning it, you know, speak it to yourself, and whether it's a cliche that has truth in it and you need to own it, or whether it is owning that you can do it. Um, I think I'm going to repeat uh, the day two run of week five again, because the next run is a 20-minute run, and I'm not so sure that I couldn't do it physically. I think it's the mental battle right now and I need to mentally get to the point of owning it, that I can do it, that I can run 20 minutes without stopping. And even just talking about that, I get emotional. <laughs> I have some music that I listen to while I'm running, um, and every song that I put in my playlist, I put it there because this song speaks to me on a deep level. And sometimes I can't always say that I believe it, but I sing these words in my heart at least, if not sometimes even out loud while I'm running because these are the things that I want to own and these are the things I want to speak to myself and receive for myself. So, yeah, I'm going to put like links to the music in the section below so you can check that out. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for the encouraging uh, words and thoughts and everything. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I meant to make a quick video and it's already been eight minutes, so I better stop. Okay, I'll let you know when I get that 20-minute run done, <laughs> when I decide to own it and, and, and finish it. Okay, love you all. Bye.